Hey guys, this is a tutorial on how to play Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games on your iOS device. Now, I made already made a video on how to play Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games on your iOS device on with, on the Eclipse emulator. But this is different. Um, this application that I'm about to show you uh, is in the App Store. Anyone could get it. Anyone on iPhone or iPad could get it. It's totally free. And it's very easy. It's it's a, a two step process, and yeah, it's very easy to play Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy games. So you know, it's a device. So let's get started. Let's get started with the tutorial. So first, you go to the App Store, you search IGBA like that, and you hit search. Is this one? I it's called IGBA, GBA, and GBC Retro Emulator. Uh. I already downloaded it, so that's why there's a cloud and a download. But you, uh, but you on in on yours, it will say get. Uh, you just simply tap get, and then it should it should start downloading it. So once you have done that, uh, it should be on your home screen. And now all you do is just tap it, tap on it to open it up. And it says IGBA would like to send you notifications. It says uh, don't allow or allow. It's completely up to you. I'll I'll just simply click on allow, and and then I'll say no games. You don't have GBA or GBC or GB ROMs. Click on the icon search. So my advice is to not click on the search icon because it will just send you to a web website. Uh, I'll show you. So if I click on the website on the on the i on the search icon, excuse me, at the top right, and then I click on it, and it'll just send me to this page, and it won't show. It won't actually like send me like where to get where to download the games. Uh, so I just highly advise not to click on it. Uh, to get, I cannot show you how to get games, but. A simple Google search should do, should do the trick, and you should be able to download them there. One thing I will say uh, is that uh, if you want a Game Boy Advance game, you just search on Google. You search GBA ROMs. If you want a Game Boy Color game, you search uh, GBC ROMs. And if you want a Game Boy game, you search uh, Game Boy ROMs. And that and that's where you and find it on Google, and it should be the first website always. It will always be the first website, and you just scroll down and then tap on the game you want, and then you hit save game, and then you click download, and then once that's downloading, and once it downloaded fully, you should see it on your files. So if I go, I have it in a folder called extras, and then uh, it's right here. It looks like this: the files. The files app you click on it and then it should be in your downloads folder here or in your iCloud drive uh, downloads folder so either one uh, it'll be there so in my case it's in the downloads folder uh, here here and yeah as you can see I downloaded three games uh, uh, it'll be in dot zip format dot zip file uh you have to extract them in order to so it could work on the igba uh application uh to do this to extract it all you do is just hold it and then you click uncompress and it'll extract the file now i now you could just delete the the file now the zip the dot zip file and then you do the same process to your other games. You tap, you hold it. You hold this and then uncompress and then you delete the dot zip. And now as you can see, uh, all my games are extracted. All my three games are extracted. Uh, the first one is a G dot GBA. That means it's a Game Boy Advance game. Uh, the second one is dot GBC which is a game boy color game and uh and the third the third game uh is dot gb gb which is a game boy game 
so to add your games to to uh, the IGBA application, all you do is just tap on the game, the ROM. No, I mean hold, hold on it, hold, hold the fi file, your game, your ROM, and then you click share, and you click IGBA. Once you've done that, it'll sh it'll, sh it'll import it to IGBA, and as you can see the game appears here. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other games, my other two games. So tap, hold it, hold it on me, hold it, then click share IGBA. Again, you hold it, share GB IGBA. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Uh, to play a game, it's simple. All you do is just tap on it, and the game will load up. You could play this in vertical or landscape. It's up to you. And yeah, as you can see, it's working. See, it's, it's working. I'm playing Super Mario Advance 2 for the GBA, and yeah, everything works. You could, uh, if you click on the menu here uh, at the bottom left here, uh, there gives you a, a couple options. There's fast forward, save state, load state, and there's cheat codes and so sustain button. So you could fast forward if you want. So if you tap on fast forward, you'll fast forward the game. Uh, you could turn it back to normal speed. You click on normal speed. Uh, you could save state. So so uh, so if you're like very far in the game, you're like super far in the game, or you you have or you have a bunch of lives or whatever. And, and you want to save it uh, all you do is just click on the menu here uh, at the bottom at the bottom left if you're in vertical but if you're on landscape like this it should be in the top in the middle at the top here menu and all you do is just save state here it gives you a warning here it says that save states are intended to be used as a convenience and not as a primary saving method to ensure that save data is never lost or corrupted please save in game as you were as you would if you were playing on an actual gba so yeah it's saying that uh it's recommended to save the game in the game instead of using save states um that's the recommended way to do it like to save your game but I mean, if you like have like a lot of lives, or you're super far in the game, or you're in the middle of the game, and you cannot save it, uh, I just uh, like I said, if you're in landscape like this, you click on the menu in the middle, or if you're in vertical like this, you tap on it at, at the bottom left here, and all you do is just click on save state, and you click the plus sign here, and as you can see, it says the uh, it shows the the month, the day, the year, and the time. And once you save state, you do not tap on this. You do not tap on it because this is just save stating. When you want to load this state, you click on load state. Well, I'm gonna show you that I was here. So when I save state, I was here. So let me just quickly die. Okay, let me just quickly die. So I died, okay, I died there. All I do is just click on the menu uh, and then click load stay now and then click on the click on the, the, the save state that I just created. So I just tap on it and as you can see, I'm, I'm back and it's like I never died. So yeah, that's one of the benefits of this emulator. But I, I recommend saving the game in the game. Like if you were actually playing on a, on a real 
handheld device. So yeah. There's also cheat codes, but I I can't. I, I don't know what. I don't know how. I don't know how that works. So uh, I can't show you how to how to add cheat codes. But yeah, uh, I can't show you because I don't know how how that works. But yeah, um, uh, also you could also you could connect it with the controller with the PS4 with the wireless controller. So PS4, PS5, Xbox, or even the Backbone One controller, which I have right here. Uh, I'm gonna connect it in a bit. So to exit the game, just tap on the menu here. And then return to menu, and that's how you exit the game. Uh, so I'm I'm gonna quickly connect the controller to show you that it works on the controller. So give me a second. So now when I start the game again, as you can see, I'm using the controller. I don't know if you could hear the buttons clicking. But I'm using a controller, the Backbone One controller, and, and yeah, and, it, and it's, it's gonna work. I'll show you that I'll be able to move with the uh, with the controller. As you can see, now I'm using the controller. The on-screen controls disappeared because I'm using the controller. So yeah, that's how. I, with the controller you just simply just connect it uh, with bluetooth if it's a wireless controller bluetooth is if it's just like like the backbone one controller uh you just connect it to your iphone and you're good to go uh with the controller to to bring up the menu i think it's start you click on start and then you return to a menu and that's how you get out of the game with the controller i have a game boy color game and a game boy i'll show you the the, the two last and and i'll show you the settings as well and that's pretty much it so i'll click on the game boy color game the game boy color game and as you can see it works Click the wrong button. Let me try again. As you can see, it works. Let me show you the Game Boy game now. takes a bit of while on this game okay there as you, as you can see I'm controlling him with the controller okay that's GBA now I'm gonna show you the settings. Uh, you could frame skip. You could prefer ex in internal audio, intro animation, audio auto save, web browser, controller opacity determines how transparent the controller is. If con is supported by the scan, vibrate on press, vibrate on button press. So then if it's on, then it's gonna vibrate when you press on the buttons on the on screen buttons and you could it says haptic level you could change it to light medium or heavy you could make it so that it vibrates uh more or less it's up to you and there, there's airplay use that second screen but that but yeah that's pretty much it that pretty much sums up my video thank you for watching bye